Hello, and welcome to another video tutorial from Jack's Tech Corner. Today I thought I would take you through a couple basic steps to show you how to actually organize your start menu. Because most people start menu, as we load applications and click start, and then all programs, we end up with a, a just a ton of different programs in the start menu. So you're going to want to clean that up from time to time just to keep it be better organized so you can find things a lot uh, more quickly and efficiently. So to do that we'll click uh, off the start button to close it. Now all you have to do is right click with your right mouse button and click on open all users. Once we do that we can simply go into programs and now this is all the programs that you've just seen in the start menu. I like to organize these basically by categories. And what I mean by that is we'll go, we'll go ahead and we'll create new folders based on the different types of programs we have loaded on our computer. So if we just right click anywhere over here where it's just open space, you can go down and click on new, and then you click on folder. So that's right click, new, folder. Now on this new folder, see how it's already blue here? I don't have to do anything. I could just start typing and that new folder will disappear. So let's type in here internet. And then hit your enter key. What we're going to do here is anything that we have in our start menu dealing with the internet, we'll just pull it right into this one folder. So we'll go down through here and look. And we should be able to see pretty rapidly the different items we have. Here's my FTP client, so that's used on the internet. So I'll just left click on that and drag it up, find my internet folder, and just drop it on there. Let's go back down through here. Windows Messenger, that's an internet program, pull it up. And again, we're going to drop it on top of there. Um, Mozilla Firefox, again, pull it up. Drop it on internet. Do the same thing with the MSN Explorer, which would probably be better off just to delete it. But since it's there, we're going to drop it in internet folder. Look back through here one more time. Google Talk. Google Talk is an internet application. So internet folder. So you're catching on here. You're getting the idea of what we're doing. We're just actually pulling these up. Pics to Gallery. This is an application I use to put pictures on the internet so I'll put that in there just like that and we could even actually if we want to we can pull iTunes into there because iTunes is an internet application but it's also a music application so maybe we'll just leave it alone now I also created one here called video and I have two programs I use for videos one is QuickTime pull that into video the other one is this video LAN, I can pull that up, drop that on the video, just like so. And that looks pretty good for that. My Cisco VPN client, Cisco uh, client is something we use as an administrator on a, on a network. So let's drop that into internet. And that should basically take care of those ones. Should look a little better there. Second Life is a online world that I use on the internet so let's drop that in the internet and with that we should be able to see a difference in our start menu already click start all programs now you can see how it's starting to get filtered out a little better and you can sort this very easily just right click anywhere on here and go to sort by name now it's actually sorted up by name And you can continue on and edit these and uh, keep cleaning up your desktop more and more, or I mean your start button more and more, uh, just by simply creating more folders in here. And it's just simply the way it works. Hopefully you picked up something from this tutorial today, and uh, hopefully it makes some sense to you. It's very easy. Just remember to, uh, on your start button, to right click, go to all users, Double click programs and then begin organizing your start button so it'd be a little bit easier for you to find. 
uh, your programs. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tip from Jack's Tech Corner. Until next time, take care.